Vinny's back. I don't know if you guys noticed or not. He has returned from Louisville. Making commercials. I was an actor for a week. Making commercials? What is this for, Vinny? For footballoutsiders.com to try to encourage people to come to the site and buy our product. So, So they put you in a commercial? We are at a bar bragging to the bartender about how smart we are about football. (laughs) <laughs> is it like a hot bartender? Do you do you pick her up at the end, or it's a dude? What's the, that's a guy. Do you, do you pick him up at the end, or no? No one gets picked up. No. Oh, that's too bad. I am absolutely fascinated. Why didn't I come up with this idea? Get Vinny to act to sell subscriptions. Craig decides that he's gonna he's gonna post our text message chain on Twitter. Mm-hmm. And so he he I don't know what he used to try to to try to uh, erase my phone number. Right. But as it turns out, if you just zoom in, you can read my damn phone number. But anyway, so n- neither of you watched the Rambo? No. The what now? Can be handcuffed to the ropes. Can be handcuffed to the guardrail. Can be handcuffed to someone's dick. Whatever. You're out. <laughs> I feel like we're missing a story here, aren't we? <laughs> I felt like I was handcuffed by the dick when I was watching this fucking match. The dick toga use cuffs? Yeah, well, well let's he, see Was here. he the dick he had to get handcuffed to? Do you yeah. live in it? Did anybody get handcuffed to Peter? Peter wasn't there, Craig. Oh, that's too bad. Didn't I talk about being handcuffed to a Peter, by the way? So we had two matches that were literally almost exactly the same amount of time. That's amazing. I thought this tag match went way longer than it needed. The main event, I had zero problem with the 37-minute main event. What are your thoughts on legendary songsmith and accordion player Weird Al Yankovic? Yeah, I have. He's coming up on 30 years as a relevant musical artist. Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean by relevant, Vinny? They still have accordion stores here. There's one in Redmond. No, they don't. One up in Everett. <laughs> yes, they No, they don't. It's a they... music store that sells accordions. It's not an accordion store. How can you have an entire store devoted to accordions? Well, I don't that's... believe that. I heard uh, it was an accordion store. Accordion store. I'm, look it up, Vinny. <laughs> look it right now. There's no way there's an accordion store. Linwood, Washington, Potosa Accordions. That Musical doesn't necessarily store. mean it's an accordion store. Why? What do you it think they called accordion. it? Potosa Accordions. <laughs> all right, fine, whatever. If you had no restrictions at all in your diet, what food would you love to eat over and over again? Cup of noodles is my favorite. Your choice is cup of noodles? Uh-huh. Not a steak or escargot. Nope. Cup o noodles. Yeah, that's the only thing that doesn't upset my stomach. Well, I think the the question, Granny, is if it didn't upset your stomach, if there were no consequences, you could just eat I'm, any I food. Still, I still say cup of noodles. I once got my head stuck in Mayor McCheese's helmet. Who? Is she gonna change her name to Vicky E S P H? A S P H Asf A S H Ash Almost Super Hers Hero Granny Hero That's dumb. It, it's stupid. I wish she wouldn't do that. I need to watch Undertaker and Kane yep. versus Chronic. I demand we watch oh this match. Is it still an all time horrible match? Hurricane arrives, says that as a superhero he needs a sidekick. Lance recommends Ivory. Hurricane says she is 99 and 44, 100 percent pure. I need someone who is 100 percent pure. Yeah, Molly is more pure than Ivory. She's 100 yeah, percent pure. pure. Spike's not getting the job done. Oh, Craig. <laughs> Craig Proper. It's getting kind of useless to compare AEW and NXT numbers. We should probably start comparing like Raw and AEW, uh, and probably will be come September. There is a very good chance that they are going to be very, very close, like six weeks from now. The returning Ridge Holland debuts. The debuting Ridge Holland returned. Well, that's not right either, though. That's not right either. It's closer. uh, I suppose, but it should be the returning Ridge Holland returned, which is merely bad English, but technically correct. I watch Raw and SmackDown, and so I see a contract signing like every other week. Yeah, yeah. This was in the upper echelon of them. The best thing on the show, L.A. Knight and Cameron Grimes go golfing. Think about about Borash's videos that he that he shoots for for uh, NXT. You can always tell that they're his because they're, they're just. Good. It begins with a joke about ball washing that I honestly can't believe made TV. 
So this obnoxious green and yellow vest, this wacky green hat with a ball thing on top. But he's still a redneck, so he says his cowboy boots on here on the golf course. Captain of Team Kick puts that kick right in her jaw. This puts her right down, poses with the belt, and leaves. And the breakout that he all knew was coming has finally happened. And he swings as hard as he can on his backswing, and he hits LA Knight right in the nuts. And on his follow-through, hits LA Knight in the noggin. <laughs> That caught me totally off guard. That's why I, I lost it. I laughed so hard, and I watched it over and over and over again. Why I do mean, they love geeks so much? I, I, I'm I all know. in favor of a comedy geek or two every hour or so, but their entire roster, it is Geek Championship Wrestling here at NXT. Finally, Indy books a match. Johnny Gargano versus Dexter Loomis in a love her or loser match, and yes... They specifically said it is for the right to date Indy Hartwell. I like Bronson Reed. Adam Colt's an all-time... Well, he's great. He's great. This match was pointless. We need a match to fill time and be a main event. Bro, I've seen this match a thousand times. I saw Last Man Standing or whatever it was. I saw the one-on-one -on -one match they had. Like, bro... Uh, why, are, why is this continuing? Now it's time for a vastly superior television program. I don't usually vote at the end, everyone. I was going to vote AEW right now. Brian, if you want to wait, that's fine. They got the two unlimited music playing. They're dribbling basketballs. They're running through a banner. They're dunking on an eight-foot hoop. It grew to 1.24 million viewers for the end of this match. They beat the Hangman, and they dropped all the way down to 975,000 viewers for the next quarter. Oh, there was a big plunge when they beat the hangman. And one of the announcers just completely out of nowhere says, let's hear this from Hiroshi Tanahashi. I'm like, what? <laughs> really? Okay. You know, this match was obviously a disappointment because everybody was expecting a blow away match and there was an injury and they went home early and the finish was anticlimactic and it was just weird. Uh, thankfully, Cash appears to be okay, so hopefully he's back very soon. You can only prove that you're the greatest in all elite wrestling, even if you think you're the best in the world. And now the CM Punk chants are really, really loud. And, and not confirmed, but like, he's coming in. I would, I would stake my reputation on it, whatever reputation I have. Can you imagine in Chicago when they, they're going to build up for the whole show, and maybe the lights will go out, but then Cult of Personality hits. It's going to be on Fire. It's going to be awesome. They brought in Nick Gage, and they had him do what Nick Gage does. I believe that Jericho put the entire match together. I would not doubt that for one second. I think. I mean, Jericho. if I were Jericho, I'd want to put the whole match together. Nick Gage is running a pizza cutter over Jericho's forehead as it goes to picture in picture, and a Domino's pizza ad appears on the other screen. Yes, I laughed. I laughed a lot at that. A lot of people that don't like AEW did immediately start contacting Domino's after the Domino's commercial, after the pizza cutter spot. So my guess is that it is true that Domino's probably was not happy with the the feedback that they got, and maybe they'll pull their ads, I don't know. If you do something and you drive off sponsors and you find out you're driving off viewers, they are going to stop doing it. Not my favorite kind of match, but I don't see a huge amount of evidence that this is a massive negative for AEW. Do I think that they should make this a regular thing? No. Do I think that it's okay to do it every now and then? Sure. Should it mostly be on pay-per-view? Yes. And one of your most hated rivals, The Juice, is coming back to TNT. I thought the show was great. It wins. Yeah. Awesome Although, show, AW hey, you know what? You know what? Hold on a minute. All right, I'm listening. Hold on a minute. I, I jumped the gun. I love this show a lot, and this show was great. But, man, I loved the opening match and the Cameron Grimes stuff so much that even though my immediate response is to give the win to AEW, I am going to give it a tie. tie. Because I, I just, I can't not let them tie, at least tie, after those two fantastic things that I saw on NXT this week. So I'm giving them a tie.